Well, SLED says the murder rate in South Carolina is at its highest rate in some 30 years. A new crime report now just released today from 2021 shows violent crime dropped by 5.1% overall from 2020 to 2021. However, murders have increased. Now, last year there were 566 murders in South Carolina, which is five more than the year before. Also, weapons law violations have gone up nearly 81% in the last 10 years. Also, last year marked the eighth straight year of an increase in weapon law violations, with 91% of those incidents including firearms and at least 76% being identified as handguns. News 19's Peyton Lewis is in studio tonight with some numbers that are a little closer to home. She went to an event in Columbia tonight that welcomed gun crime offenders to get more information on gun violence in the community. Peyton, what did you find out? JR SLED also reported that weapon law violations are up by 4% too. I spoke with Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook, who says they're seeing the statistic play out right here in the city, which is why they decided to address those committing crimes face to face. <laughs> This is a sound that local law enforcement and the offenders in this room have become all too familiar with. In the city of Columbia, 92 people have been shot so far in 2022. We're on track to um, potentially have uh, more firearms offenses this year than we've ever had. And on Thursday, law enforcement and agencies from across the state came together to try to change these numbers and lives as well. I want to let you know that we give a damn about your future. But you got to give a damn about your future. And you got to understand that the choices that you make now are different than they might have been a year or two years ago because now you have a felony. Gun crime offenders from around Columbia were invited to what was called a ceasefire for police to ask them to put the guns down. They also got to hear messages and get resources from state and local agencies to help get on a better path. Six shooters. One on our violent offender list, one just came off our violent offender list, seven gang affiliates, six pending charges. That's this group. Columbia police said the majority of repeat gun crime offenders are no older than 30, and most gun crime victims in the past year have been between 16 and 28. Those attending the ceasefire event were allowed to bring family with them as their support system. We spoke with one young woman who was there to support her brother. She says gun violence impacts more than just the criminal and the victim. It's, it's been very, like, I don't like seeing him in situations like that. So it causes a lot of emotional trauma, um, just trauma period with everybody, fam, uh, brothers, sisters, everybody in the family. Since May of 2021, the ceasefire event has welcomed over 90 offenders, and of those, only 16 committed the same kind of crime again. The ceasefire Columbia events have been put on for the last seven years. If those who are called to attend reoffend with the same crime, Columbia Police, SLED, and Richland County Sheriff's Office says they will be federally prosecuted. Reporting live in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.